Well, one of the things is most people don't know their limiting belief. So I wouldn't even start like, hey, pick a limiting belief. It's your body knows your limiting beliefs. You, when you like just go through life, I, I really believe in just being present. Don't look for your traumas. Like you'll find it in front of you. Well, like it's like a life is like a Rorschach test. Rorschach's the ink blot test. Like you'll just be walking and then there's this tree and I'm like, this tree reminds me of the one I fell out with when I was a kid. And now I'm like, oh, and then now a tree is triggering me. I think triggers are our biggest lessons because like there is a clue to what you need to heal. Like if this situation gets you angry or if this brings up an emotion in you, like there's your clue. <laughs> right? Yeah. So don't look for a limiting belief at all. You will find it when you are prepared to work on it. <laughs> so right now, like um, people's limiting beliefs, like my, or so limiting beliefs, sorry, uh, like their trigger is like their home, something in their home. So just, I'm just so anxious and angry. I'm like, oh, what is it about my home that's making me anxious and angry? And then that's when you would start your limiting beliefs. I don't think people should like look for the, uh, like, you know, people, we all know that we have trauma, but I don't mm -hmm. think we should look to the past. Like what part of my mm -hmm. past do I need to heal? It's going to, it's going to apply to your present because you've carried it with you for so long. So don't look for it. It'll happen in front of you. And it also reminds you to stay present when you're staying present. Like you're not worried about the past because that gives you depression. And when you're staying in the present, you're not thinking about the future because that gives you anxiety. So when you're here, Whatever is in front of you, this is what we're going to do for this time right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Um, so, so the step before, you're like, hey, pick a limiting belief. It's like, just go through your day. And if you feel like your heart closing and like, you know, your heart racing, your hands clenched, your palms sweating, like something's going on there that your body's trying to tell you. And that would be the thing that you're going to work on today. <laughs> okay. So, so how do you work on it? I think there's a level of self-awareness on like first, like, why am I experiencing this? I always like, uh, you just got to ask yourself why. I do like seven layers of why. Do you ever do? Have you heard mm -hmm. seven layers of yeah. why? You just yeah. ask yourself, like, usually um, the answer is not ever the first, or uh, the, the answer is never the first answer that your brain thinks of. It's like the seventh one or, you know, maybe five or six, seven. So when you find it, um, what would be like a common self limiting brief? Like on money? You know, money is the biggest one for everybody because we've all formed a belief about money. And then you go through your seven layers. Oh, well, I just want to be free, financially free. I just want to do whatever I want. Um, I just need money. And then so you're like, okay, I'm looking for freedom. And then I'm looking for this. Everyone's a little different when they get to that. Mine was on validation. <laughs> like, I just, like, I just want to be like, I just want to know and show people like I'm worth something. <laughs> Okay. So that was yeah. my limiting belief on money. And so when you're working on that, what's what's funny is like you meditate on that. You feel that feeling, like that feeling of validation. What does it feel like when you don't feel validated? And then that's when I would go into my meditation state. You know that your body's going through a fight or flight response at this moment. Like you're like, I feel anxious around this topic. I don't even want to talk about this topic. You breathe into that. You feel it. And then I would do a meditation during that time. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to release this limiting belief. I didn't even know that I had it. It took a while for me to find it. And then now you're like just releasing its charge. And then the next time it happens, I'm like, oh, I don't even have that. I don't feel that same physiological feeling anymore of my hand um, like sweating or feeling like that I'm not enough, feeling I'm not worthy enough to have this. I'm only worth as much as as much money as I have. <laughs> Um, but that's not true. Like, I don't even feel that anymore. And you can only do that when you lean into the feeling, really, really feel the feeling and then release it. A lot of people don't lean into that feeling. So they keep that feeling and that charge inside of them. And then they switch topics and never address it ever again. And so like a hormone circulating it has to come out of you, but it, they're keeping it inside. 